Hello Carbonites, I'm Timmy Carbine and welcome back to our single player campaign of Ark Survival Evolved. I've been doing some grinding, getting some levels up because I want to craft the industrial forge and um, we have more than enough materials, well metal anyway, I think we'll have to get some oil. So let's have a look. Uh, crafting... Okay, so we definitely got uh, plenty of metal, plenty of crystal, cementing paste for days. Um, we got, we should have enough polymer, um, but we will have to get some oil. So, yeah, I've only got 149 oil. Um, I've got, I've got enough polymer, but I, I think I might just go out and kill a bunch of penguins and use the organic polymer and just save this stuff. Um, Cementing paste. Yep. Heaps. Alright, so we're going to build that today. And I also found uh, a long neck rifle. Journeyman long neck rifle. So, um, we're definitely going to be using that uh, not for damage. Because the compound bow with metal arrows does nearly double the amount of damage that um, that journeyman rifle does with... Um, simple rifle ammo ammo so what we're going to use the rifle for is uh trank darts so i have unlocked them i don't exactly know what we need to make them um we need simple rifle ammo metal and three narcotics so i've got um plenty of that um the only thing i don't have is the simple rifle ammo but I should have enough gunpowder to get a good amount made up. I've been making a bit more too, so all of these should have 200 in them. Um, yeah, alright, so I'm going to craft up some bullets. Uh, I'm going to do that off camera, so I'll see you guys soon. 266, I wonder if that's... That might be the metal that is going to run out first. Because if that's the case, I'll just um, I'll just throw a bit more metal in there. I don't mind. Like we've got shitloads of it. Um, we've got 30 stacks, so oh, I won't be able to carry that much. No, nah, it is going to run out of gunpowder. Okay. Um, so all I did is I took the gunpowder I had in there, so I still actually have some in here. Not much, but, um, a, a few hundred. Alright, so we've got, um, we've got a hundred made up. Now we need some narcotics in here. I've got a shit ton of narcotics. Let's grab six hundred... Alright, so let's get... Alright. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Um, when when these all get made up, I'll, um, I'll come back. Alright, so let's take this uh, 50 stack we've got there. So... Um, what, they, they weigh the same amount as Trank Arrows, which is really good. So it's just a clean swap. I want to do a little bit of testing and just see how much uh, difference it actually makes compared to our journeyman crossbow and the trank arrows. All right, so let's um, let's check our Quetzal's torpor. So it's um, 2960.5. Actually, I'm gonna grab um, some stimberries. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> do you guys do that on the elevator? <laughs> it feels weird. Get in there, thank you. Alright, I just got a couple of stacks. 37, okay.
Okay, 55 should be enough. Alright, so... Let's do... Let's do the crossbow first. So it's going up. And the torpor hits uh, 77. I don't know why I wrote down the total of it. <laughs> it was pointless. Uh, it's dropping pretty quick. Don't even really need to use one of those. Alright, so full torpor again. Let's change over to the trank darts. And holy shit. Definitely makes a difference. 170.2. Over double. And I don't think that's um, classed as a headshot either, so getting a headshot with these things is going to be amazing. It did, um, it looked like it did an instant amount of torpor as well, like say about 70 or so, and then kept climbing after that. Alright, so let's see if we can get a headshot. Holy shit. Topped out at 510.6. Alright, so we know exactly what we're going to be doing now. So we're going to use the long neck rifle for the tranking, and we're going to use the compound bow for damage. So that's good. I'm. Um, I'm happy with that. What am I going into there for? I don't need to go in there. I think I had a stimulant somewhere. Here we go. A single stimulant. Um, I wanted to do some painting too, so I might... Uh, I'll do that off camera. I want to paint on my gear and shit. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, there we go. So I went with um, olive as the main colour and mud as uh, the accents. Um, but I had a little accident with the rifle. <laughs> it looks like there's poo on there. I forgot that the wood doesn't, um, it doesn't die properly. It looks, it actually looks gooey as well. Like, there's actual shit on my rifle. And I can't get rid of the, um, dye that's on there, so... We're just gonna have to... <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with it. It just looks like we've been playing around in poo. Alright, so we're all died up. We've got awesome gear. Um, forge is next. So I'm going to dismantle all these things. Do they have anything in them? They do. Oh, i got to put all the dies back as well. Alright, so I'll dismantle all that off camera and then we'll be back. Alright, so I'm just out getting some oil. Let's test our rifle. That's a level 12 RG. <laughs> wow, nearly killed it. But did knock it out pretty quick. Alright guys, so we've got... Well, we should have everything we need now. So I think it was 300... Oil? I'm hoping it was 300. It was 400. Okay, well we do have a little bit left in the, th in the um, vault, so we should be right on that front. Um, what do we need for this? We need 400. Wonder if I've got enough. Oops. I put in some fiber. But yes, we do have enough organic polymer. Now we just need the rest of that oil. So we'll take that and another 10 from that stack. All right, put that in. That's the oil we need. 250 crystal. Oh, it's a bit heavy. Probably because I've got all this fucking stone on me still. Oh, that's full, hey? It's full. Well, that's, um... 
That sucks, doesn't it? Because we're not going to be able to fit all the ingredients in to do it. What a pain in the... What a pain in the ass. Right, let's drop this stone off so it doesn't weigh me down so much. Um, because we're still going to fit the metal in there and the cementing paste. So we're not going to be able to use all of that as organic polymer. Um, cementing paste. I need 600. I'm going to use as much as that of that um, organic polymer as I can. I put an Argentavis egg in there for some stupid reason. What else can we take out of this? Nothing really. We're going to have to take out 20 and put in that. So now we've got the 600. No, not in there. Yep, so it's just... Um, oh, we've actually got 550 polymer in there, so we can actually take some out. That's good. Okay, so that's 400 there. Alright, so that gives us a few slots. We, sh we should be able to do it then. God damn it. Put that fucking polymer back in there. And that should be 2,500. Perfect. Alright. Let's craft this baby. There it is. Weighs 50. Alright, um, and we're just gonna put all that shit in there. Just in case we decide to craft something else. Uh, put that in there, put that in there. Uh, and we'll put the hide in there, that's fine. Yeah, you can have that fiber too, I don't care. Oh, I better turn that off, actually. Um, okay. So let's get rid of these. <laughs> let's get this bad boy out. Let's see if John was right. He said it's not going to fit. I did see green, but it does look like it's clipping through the wall. Which is not what I wanted. Okay. I'm probably going to remove those there. Those two walls there, because there's nothing on that side. And then I could expand, expand it out as far as I need. Actually, it might be alright. Because it's going to clip underneath those ramps, so you won't be able to see it. Okay, we've got to move the Quetzal. Quetzal is in the way. Uh, actually, what we'll do is we'll just send the elevator up. Okay, it is going to be over the ramp a little bit. If I can get it over to the... I can actually get this thing pretty far forward. But I don't want to go too far because I probably won't be able to use it. So if we go like that, um, that looks like as far right as we can go. Uh, it's going to clip out the back. Uh, honestly, I don't really care. I, th I think this is going to be good enough. Let's go in K-mode for a sec. Okay. 
It might be alright. I can't see any green on that side. Oh, there is a little bit poking through. Um, I can't actually go across any further. Alright, that is where it's going to go. Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> We've just got that little spot there that came through. It's actually pretty good. Um, because the rest of it is underneath the ramps. And I'm pretty sure I've got an extension out that side anyway, so you won't be able to see that. You might see the one at the back. Yeah, just at the bottom there, you can see it at the back. But all in all, pretty good. And I can access that from pretty far away from there, which means I can put it straight into the vault or into the fabricator. Really, really good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's, um... Oh, I got no metal to actually smelt. I was going to say, let's give it a test run, but, um... Yeah, that's not going to happen. We will put some fuel in it, though, anyway. So, we've got 59 slots of metal that we can fit in there. Let's go up the top and, um... See if it's poking through. I don't think it's poking through up the top. No, it's not poking through at all. Looks good. Let's jump on Raven real quick. Oh my god, these RG eggs. It is going awesomely. Ever since I brought charcoal in, these guys have been just pumping out the eggs. It's been awesome. So we'll be able to get us a perfect tame Spino if we wanted. Yeah, it is poking through that side quite a bit. Oh, and it looks like it's through the floor. Let's get down here. Oh, no. It's just the, um... Because I've used stone ceilings, that's all. But, yeah, quite a bit of, um... Of clipping through this side. It still doesn't look that bad. Like, it's not a bad object to be clipping through the wall. Like, it, it looks sort of alright with those, like, the piping and stuff going up. Could be worse. But it doesn't clip through on this side, except that little panel, but it just, it looks like it's part of the building. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's good. Alright, so that's it for this episode, guys. Pretty good. We got the industrial forge in, which is going to help us immensely in pumping out metal. We've got uh, an awesome... Long neck rifle with trank arrows now. Compound bow, all our stuff's painted. Well, all our personal gear. We'll still have to go through and maybe paint saddles and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, looking good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.